Marauders fans, Mr. Town here, letting you know before the video begins, we do indeed have Marauders apparel on sale, hoodies and t-shirts, the logo right there as well, guys. For all those who choose to support, I want to say thank you very much and enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen of the Talent Squad, welcome back to another team builder for week 5 of the P4G. This week we're going up against the Bulus and uh, my man Lynx over here. So, his team is right over there, and what I prepared for is mostly the Crocodile, Jellicent, um... Fracture a tad bit. I had Clefairy original, but I dropped it. Uh, but what I really thought I was going to bring is Crocodile, Jellicent, uh, Fracture, Exploud, Tangula, and Typhlosion. Something along those lines is what I figured. Could be wrong. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But that's what I basically prepped for. And uh, that's what I put team around. Other threats watch out for. Obviously, I love Mattatine. You guys know me. I'm a big fan of Mattatine. Dinkleberg back in the day. Whew, love Dinkleberg. Phenomenal mom. But um, it does have a great matchup this week. And uh, I gotta watch out for that bad boy. Um, even though it's not that good, I do have like things like Dora could smack it, Mario could smack it, and Muzzle could smack it around pretty well. Even Chestnut somewhat as well. But I still think you can bring it. Um, what else? Tangle's gonna be a pain in the butt with a generator and whatnot. Uh, and other than that, that's what I pretty much prepared for. So without further ado, my friends, I'll just show you what I brought, show you what I got, and then I uh, get this party going. So first up, we got Mudsdale, Stealth Rock, Toxic Roar, Earthquake. Uh, Mudsdale's move, move pool is pretty lackluster, and EQ covers everything I needed to cover. There's really nothing else I could put on to give me, like, good damage against things, so... Toxic comes into play there, just get a little damage rolling and going on, uh, Pokemon throughout the battle. Roar, in case Fracture does try to D-dance, or someone tries to D-dance, or something up against them. Mudsdale, it ain't gonna happen, gonna roar you out, and that's gonna be good to go. And other two attacks are pretty standard and obvious, same with the EVs, that is that. Now, Chestnut, again... AV Chestnut has been phenomenal, so we're gonna bring it again. Poison Jam, Power Punch, Wood Hammer, Drain Punch, AV. Now, why Wood Hammer over Seed Bomb? Uh, well, one, it guarantees a kill on Jellicent and Crocodile, even with Intimidate. Um, so that's the biggest reason why. Uh, my HP is gonna get, I'm gonna drill that HP, but that's where Drain Punch comes in to get it back. Drain Punch is obvious. Poison Jam for Tangular, pretty much just Tangular. And then there's really nothing else I could put on our, our, our Chestnut that could like help me out in this matchup. So we have Power Punch here, give us plus ones, and like, be good to go. Now obviously Typhlosion could smack me around, and somebody's gonna have a Hidden Power flying somewhere. Uh, that's where AV comes in clutch. Maybe even a Flying Z move I come in, but I, I, I don't know who he gets a Flying move to, to, um, to begin with. Didn't really calc that that much, but I figured I'd die anyway, so I'm just gonna calc it. Uh, I'm a push jet, power punch, would have a drain punch. Or my go to, same EVs, because I want to be mostly special. Have a little attack investment in there, a little bit of defense, dabble in defense a bit. Um, we are bulletproof, so we can dodge a potential. Nothing from, any, from anybody. Um, so I could I could have gone to the other ability this week. I could have gone like Overgrowth, because bullet, bullet punch is going to make a much of a difference, but not the biggest of deals. Uh, that is our chestnut. He is pretty good against most of the team with that spread. Pujib ain't gonna do a lot to the to the to the Tangula, but it allows me to scout out for a hidden power if he brings it. Pretty sure that's gonna have a hidden power fire or at least flying on it. I mean, hidden power flying or at least fire on it to get through Durant and Chestnut. But um, we'll see what happens there. Uh, so basically, that's what the point of the AD is: scout things out. And also, it's really good against uh Explode. When Explode goes like his attacks. It's going to do a lot less with that AV on that chestnut. So that is why we have a chestnut the way we have it. Next up, we have the lovely Heliosk, my friends. Now, this Heliosk uh, is not going to be dry skin. Just in case, I got to take an attack from the Typhlosion. Dry skin does make it like I'm weak to fire. So in this case, I am not weak to fire at all. If I get really zest, I can bring like a, a sand team. Because I have Mudsdale, Durant, and Heliosk all immune to sand. But... That ain't gonna happen anytime soon, I don't think. So we have Zanville here instead of Dry Skin. Solar Power, I could have gone Solar Power in case you brought, um, Sunny Day for Typhlosion. But, uh, I figured, you know what, just play it safe. Go Zanville, maybe I need that HP. Uh, but I kinda wish you went Solar Power. Now that I think about it, but... It's alright, we got Sanville. Volt Switch, T-Bolt are obvious. Grass Staff for Crocodile and Hyper Voice for everything else. Uh, the speed number this week was 167. It's gonna be 168, which we are. To make sure we had speed, Scarf Typhlosion. Scarf Typhlosion can be a power for this team, especially um, uh, if he gets rolling and Bloodsuit is gone. I can really decimate my whole entire team. I have to rely on Marowak, and even then, he could still take out Marowak more easily if he wears me down a bit. So if I lose Blastoise, 
Uh, and Malakar is widowed down. Typhlosia can definitely smack me around, especially if he's at full HP. I didn't get rocks for the reason. And he's just going, eruption, eruption, eruption. It's gonna hurt. But, uh, that's what we got going on there. Um, other than that, though, that's what Helios does. He's just pretty standard. Not too scared of anything with him. He is meant for Choice Scarf Typhlosion. Marowak coming in here. Now, we needed to outspeed 4-point speed Tangula, I believe, is what I account for this guy. I forgot who I outspeed for investment for, but I think it was Tangula. And that's why we have the EVs that we do have. 83 speed outspeeds the 82 speed Tangula. Also outspeeds the Electric. I think originally, I'm an idiot, I thought it was Electros. I thought that thing was legal, so I cacked for that. Um, but uh, either way, this outspeeds the Tangula. Should outspeed Zero Investment Magneton as well. And that is that. Uh, Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, EQ, Sub. Uh, so this week, just in case you want to bring a Cuckoo Dial and try to like go for a knockoff on me or try to intimidate me or whatever, I can go Sub on the Switch in. Uh, and then be able to get two attacks off on it instead of just uh, one. Also, if I had speed things, getting the sub up is really good because it'd be behind the sub protected. So, we have a sub this week. And um, that's what we got going on. 149 HP. So, we're going to take a good uh, more more from the rocks as we switch in. Even though it is nice to have an even number for Flare Blitz, I'd rather take uh, more Flare Blitz damage or get less Flare Blitz in. Sorry about that. So that is the Marowak. Next up, we have the lovely Durant. Now, this Durant is going to be good this week. I have a good feeling about this Durant. So, on his team, the only really good switching is the Jellicent for the Durant. So, we have Crunch, 2 Power, Iron Head, X Scissor, Dark Inium Z, Crunch to Oko Jellicent, which is honestly really good. And it does a good amount of damage to everybody else as well. So, that is why we have the uh, Durant. Also, Oko is Metachamp if you bring that as well. So, that's pretty nice. Super powers for Exploud. x Scissor is obvious. Iron Head is obvious. Uh, once again, the metric number this week was 167. So, that'd be 168 to outspeed Typhlosion. If he doesn't bring a Scarf, that is. So, that is going to be the lovely Durant right there. And I'm hoping to smack that Jellison around with that. With that, with that, uh, with that, um, uh, Dark and MZ Crunch. I feel like, what do I feel like? I feel like he's, he has to bring Jellicent for this thing. Otherwise, like, you have no check for Durant. Even uh, Krugadile with Intimidate, you still die to x which is great. I mean, Superpower, which is great. Actually, it might have been x One of those two still Oko it, even though Terrain is... I mean, no, Terrain is up. Even though Intimidate goes off. Uh, Typhlosion can throw me, obviously, so you gotta watch out for that. But uh, other than that, that is our Durant. Also, we had to play on Showdown, which really pisses me off. But it is what it is. I hate, I hate Showdown, guys. So you'll see the battle on Showdown, unfortunately. Um... What else is going on with this team? Uh, Why do I have Durant for... That's about it for Durant. Nothing crazy there. Also for Manaton. Manaton's not going to try to trap me. Because he knows if he dies, he just dies to superpower. So there's no point in doing that. Um, also brings a Sash and a Power 5. If he really wants Durant dead, he can bring Sash. Hopefully rocks aren't up and then kill him with a hit of Power Fire. Other than that though, I don't see my man bringing Manaton. And if he does... I'm going to know it's Sash. If it's rocks are off, I go through power. It still dies. Unless it brings a Chopper Berry. That would be kind of nuts. I, 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 I kind of scared myself there a little bit. All right, Thermit. Blastoise. We got usual Blastoise. We're bold. A little bit of a mixed wall just in case. Because we wanted enough to like take on the physical attackers. As well as maybe live a, take a Giga Drain from Tangula as well. Uh, and not die to um, Z Solar Beam Typhlosion. So that's what we have this right here. Rapid Spin, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Scald. Pretty standard EVs. Pretty standard movesets. Dark Pulse is the for the Gel Scent. He's going to try to spin block me. He also doesn't want... Uh, Bless was getting free damage off free Scalds everywhere. So Bless was, will try to kill that Gel with Dark Pulse. As he does want to bring that in, as it does have water absorbed. So, that is our Blast Toys. That is our Week 5 Team Town Squad. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm going to tell you the glorious Town Squad. Have a fun rest of the day. I'll catch you guys next.